There we go. Wish me luck. Here's the fun part. Oh, she ain't even getting hot yet. That's all right, I got a cure for that. Smell some wood burning. <laughs> I'm trying to make a deliberate motion to charge this thing pointing down in case we get a cook off. Guys, I'm running out of ammo. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're going to run this 75. I think she might be a little bit hot, people. You think? Cooking off! It's cooking off. 
one more mag. Guys, she's not gonna run no more. It's cooking off, it's on fire. I don't know. This is a workout of endurance for me too, and I'm the dang shooter. We got more ammo, screw it. Well, okay. Last mag! Ah! Hang on. Where's that mag? Oh, we got more mags. I got a mag ferry coming to the rescue here. Guys, I think we're done here. It's seized up. Well, <laughs> so comparing this to the AR-15, almost is a little bit unfair because the AR-15 has a smaller hole through a larger uh, section of barrel which allows that heat to dissipate a little bit more readily and allows a smaller projectile to have less surface area against the barrel itself therefore creating in theory less friction and less heat so the AK basically just creates more heat than the AR does anyway but it still lasted longer than the AR okay this gun went 895 rounds and kept on ticking and honestly if I would have you know, racked it on the table and bashed it open with the table. I might have been able to get it and run a couple of more. Uh, we were getting some cook-offs there. Highly unsafe. Obviously, I would not recommend anyone try this, but, you know, I didn't want to risk anything uh, going awry there. Uh, we're going to pull the gun apart, look at it a little bit here. The uh, finish that Chase put on this thing held up excellent. All these empty mags everywhere. So we had something that ended up uh, slowing us down here, and I believe what happened, I can look at it very carefully, and we can see the barrel did begin to droop maybe just a little bit, and what that might have ended up doing was pulling our gas block away and then causing the gas piston itself to not completely close smoothly and causing it to kind of you know rough up a bit. We're going to pull this uh, gas tube off of here.
Straighten yourself back out. <laughs> nice. Well, 